A 4.1 magnitude earthquake in Tennessee woke families up and rattled homes as far away as Atlanta. In just more than 24 hours, three earthquakes shake the volunteer state. That brings the total number of earthquakes recorded just this month to six. Tennessee, a land of rolling ridges, sun-dappled forests, and winding rivers, seems at first glance firmly rooted in the world we know. The Smokies unfold in folds of fog, springs well up from hidden sources, and towns rest quietly on ancient bedrock. Yet throughout its storied past, and again in recent days, the ground beneath Tennessee has revealed itself to be far more mysterious than its peaceful vistas suggest. Sudden movements beneath the soil, dramatic landslides, and long hidden voids have startled residents and scientists alike, suggesting the landscapes above are only half the story. Recently, Tennessee's very foundations shifted, literally, when movement deep beneath the surface exposed a secret kept by time and stone. As the earth cracked and settled near a rural home, an event sparked by seismic activity and perhaps days of rain, an underground void came to light. This cavernous chamber, unknown for generations, had waited eons for its first witness. News traveled swiftly through local communities and scientific circles, as the shifting ground provided a glimpse into the vast enigmas still concealed underfoot in the volunteer state. But these revelations are not without precedent. Earthquakes have long whispered from the depths along the New Madrid seismic zone, connecting Tennessee's fate with that of countless southern and midwestern states. Highways and hillsides give way in sudden landslides, reshaping rivers and the paths of forests. Clouds of speculation sometimes gather, spurred by sightings of foreign objects in the sky or discoveries of ancient worlds far beneath the fields. In this landscape, the ground itself can become the most unexpected storyteller, revealing secrets only after a tremor or a landslide brings them to light. What really lies beneath Tennessee's familiar terrain? When the ground moves, what hidden architecture, what unknown history, and what lost worlds are revealed? Let us venture, carefully, into the heart of Tennessee's latest mystery, tracing a story where every dark tunnel and fractured stratum suggests secrets unimaginable only days before. Chapter 1. The Caverns Awaken, an underground frontier. It began as gossip, a home for sale, nested in rural Tennessee, on a property lush with the state's characteristic beauty. Most saw nothing out of the ordinary, but then a shift occurred, a subtle quake or perhaps a deep tremor, followed by a mysterious buckling of earth behind the house, prompted concern. Crews, initially called to evaluate the stability of the home and surrounding land, soon encountered something extraordinary. A colossal subterranean void, vast enough to astonish even seasoned surveyors. As the fissure widened and the soil collapsed inward, the true scale of this hidden structure became clear. Not just a pocket of empty space, not a mere sinkhole, but a vault of twisting caverns, passages, and halls extending over 5,500 square meters. Roughly the size of a small sports field, or more than an acre. Vaulted chambers soared overhead, mineral draperies fringed the walls, and the persistent drip of water echoed through the dark like the ticking of some ancient clock. The patterns of flowstone and calcite spoke of slow, patient geological change, of water-shaping stone over thousands or millions of years. Those who first saw the chamber described a sense of wandering into an immense cathedral shaped by nature alone. Columns and curtains of mineral, shadowy pools, and delicate stalactites, each relic a marker of time's hidden industry. As explorers moved deeper, their flashlights revealed animal bones in the silt, delicate traces left by roots, and strange mineral shapes that sparked both curiosity and caution. The cave's scale and apparent isolation renewed old questions. Was this an untouched geological record, or another echo of Tennessee's well-known karst terrain, where limestone is dissolved into elaborate networks of caves and sinkholes? As new passages were mapped, community elders remembered local legends of bottomless holes, of mysterious disappearances, of sudden cracks in the land. Such stories, once dismissed as mere folklore, 
gained new weight. Spelunkers and academics alike wondered if such a vast cavern could remain undetected beneath an ordinary homestead, how many more might wait, patient and silent, beneath the pastures, woodlands and neighbourhoods of Tennessee? In the freshly revealed chambers, geologists soon identified nodules of flint embedded in the limestone. Small chips of worked stone hinted that ancient peoples may have once sought shelter or raw materials here. While no clear evidence of habitation emerged, the idea that the cave could have drawn the attention of prehistoric visitors entwined local history with this new geological marvel. Chapter 2 The Shifting Earth Tremors on the Tennessee Frontier The discovery of the cave came as Tennessee, long regarded as stable and solid, was reminded of its position on some of the continent's most active fault lines. The notorious New Madrid Seismic Zone, which runs beneath parts of Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky, Illinois and Tennessee, is a region famous for the catastrophic earthquakes of 1811 to 1812. These quakes were so substantial that they reportedly changed the course of the Mississippi River, toppled forests and were felt as far as Boston. Even now, Tennessee experiences tremors, mostly minor but occasionally strong enough to rattle dishes and wake residents. Sensors regularly pick up small quake clusters, silent reminders that the ground is never entirely at rest. It is this underlying seismic activity, combined with the state's soft cast geology, that allows for surprise disclosures like the recent cave. Landslides remain another hazard, as recent events like the closure of the Gatlinburg Bypass following a slide have shown. Rains saturate the soil along hillsides and river bluffs, sometimes loosening them enough to send tons of earth sliding downslope in mere moments. Beneath roads and pastures, hidden fissures and empty channels may be waiting, unknown, until fate and gravity conspire to reveal them. Even rivers are not always where they appear. Tennessee shares with places like Lander, Wyoming the phenomenon of vanishing streams, like the middle fork of the Popo Agi that sink into limestone and reappear elsewhere, defying the surface logic of maps and boundaries. Such events underscore a truth about the state's apparent calm. Its tranquility is often an illusion, interrupted now and again by the dramatic, sometimes damaging, reshaping of the landscape. As scientists rush to investigate each new sinkhole or cave, and families adjust their expectations of what lies beneath their feet, Tennessee's geology becomes not something finished and inert, but something dynamic, evolving, and only partly known. Chapter 3 – Archives of Water and Stone – Mapping the Hidden Labyrinth for researchers and caving enthusiasts, the newly revealed system is part of a much larger and older story. Under much of Tennessee lies a blanket of limestone, sedimentary rock that began forming hundreds of millions of years ago when the state was covered by shallow warm seas. Over time, water percolating through cracks in the limestone has dissolved it, creating an elaborate labyrinth of caves, sinkholes and underground streams. Tennessee is recognised as one of the most cave-rich states in the US, with hundreds of publicly known cave systems and likely countless more yet undiscovered. Many caves are mapped and named, protected as natural wonders or used for scientific study. Others lie hidden, accessible only when circumstances, a quake, a flood, a collapse, break open a doorway to the underworld. Caves are time capsules, preserving stories of water, stone and ancient life. Bands of flowstone and stalagmites mark thousands of years of mineral deposition and water flow. Cave walls often preserve ancient fossils and the imprints of vanished life, and in rare cases, may hold shells or bones incorporated into the stone during past floods. Most cave ecosystems in Tennessee are fragile and delicately balanced pale salamanders and crayfish, species that have adapted to an existence without sunlight, inhabit these realms, along with colonies of bats and rare blind fish. The newly discovered cave joined this subterranean ecosystem, adding to the complexity and diversity of Tennessee's hidden biological landscape. 
As scientists assembled their initial surveys, they noted the presence of rootlets, animal remains, and populations of cave-dwelling life, each contributing to the cave's story. Scientific teams used airflow measurements to trace the possibility of undiscovered side passages and chambers, and water sampling to map the age and chemistry of the flows. Explorers also found pools harboring small crustaceans and microorganisms, indicators of the slow, continual separation and evolution that happens in these isolated spaces. Though new to us, Tennessee's underground worlds have existed for millennia, forming a map beneath the map, a record of every drought flood, and seismic bend experienced by the state. In each newly accessible chamber lay fossilized stories, bones of animals that slipped into the dark, soils carried in by floods centuries ago, and crystals shaped when continents were joined in configurations long vanished. Chapter 4 Cataclysm and Catastrophe – The Peril Beneath not all that is revealed below is wonder. Often it is danger that brings the secrets to light. When the ground collapses unexpectedly, it can threaten homes, infrastructure, and lives. Indeed, Tennessee's recent history included a tragic reminder, a devastating explosion at a rural explosives plant, which claimed the lives of 16 people, shook communities, and drew attention to the hazards that sometimes lurk beneath seemingly ordinary ground. While the direct cause of the blast was under investigation, the proximity of industrial operations to the unpredictable karst terrain underscored what locals have long known. Where caves are common, disaster can strike with little warning. Stable ponds can drain away in a night if a sinkhole opens below. Wells used for generations can vanish during a single rainstorm. In several instances, farmers have recalled losing water overnight or seeing fish left gasping in the mud as ponds emptied into the unknown. And even minor earthquakes can have outsized effects, collapsing weakened cave ceilings or triggering landslides that close highways or isolate entire communities. After each such event, emergency crews and geologists must rapidly assess the threat and determine the safest response. The process frequently uncovers additional chambers and fissures, reminding all that much of the state's geology operates out of sight, awaiting discovery by chance or misfortune. Tennessee's relationship with its underground is one of awe and caution. For every beautiful chamber lined with crystalline deposits, there is the potential for loss, of roads, of homes, even of lives. The newly uncovered cave has, for now, become a point of scientific scrutiny and public fascination, but it also raises everlasting questions about the risks that may remain hidden in the depths beneath other neighborhoods or farms. Chapter 5 Silent Testimonies – Bones, Shadows, and Lost Rivers with the immediate dangers addressed and the site secured for research, specialists and naturalists began probing the cave's deposit-rich chambers, searching not for treasure, but for testimony, evidence of Tennessee's deep history. Among the black silt and pebbled floors, they collected bones, fossil casts, and impressions left by the regular migration of water and time. Finds included the remains of small mammals, perhaps deer or foxes that wandered or fell in and were trapped beyond reach of the sun, their bones slowly becoming part of the cave's silent archive. Plant roots, pale and groping, hung down from the ceiling, carrying evidence of the ongoing conversation between the surface world and the world below. Each such relic offered clues a tooth suggesting an ancient predator-prey relationship, a shell fossil showing a time when those rocks were sea floor, or mineral sheens on bone that record long epochs of dripping, mineral-rich water. In places, shells and snail tracks, now fossilized, hint at the cave's changing history, sometimes inundated and sometimes dry. But most intriguing, as is often true of caves, is the role of hidden water. Tennessee's underground rivers flow quietly, sometimes shifting course or vanishing entirely, making connections between distant fields and forests. Their faint echoes can be heard in stories from across the continent, from the disappearing rivers of Wyoming to the re-emerging streams of the Appalachians. Through careful measurement, hydrologists trace the ancient paths, mapping the underground highways that have shaped Tennessee's surface for millennia. Chapter 6 
the present unmasked, skies, stones, and the thread of destiny. While all eyes were on the ground beneath Tennessee, events far above Earth's atmosphere also captured attention. At the beginning of this month, scientists monitoring the skies were intrigued and puzzled by the sudden appearance of a foreign object tumbling through space toward Earth. A reminder that not all discoveries stem from beneath our feet. Though unrelated to the underground caverns of Tennessee, such events fuel the imagination. The Earth is part of a system in motion, vulnerable not only to its own restless energy, but also to unexpected intrusions from space. The metaphor resonates powerfully, just as entire continents can lie hidden beneath millions of cubic kilometers of Antarctic ice, or as ancient fossilized worlds can be uncovered by science beneath the fields of Illinois. So too can Tennessee's next great secret wait quietly beneath an ordinary plot of land, unseen and unsuspected until unearthed by nature or by chance. In Illinois, recent findings have exposed not merely another cave, but three ancient worlds preserved since the days before the rise of the Appalachian Mountains, worlds held still beneath silent rock. Across the planet, what seems permanent and familiar is often only a thin layer above vast, unmapped histories. Tennessee's newest cave adds to this mosaic. Each fresh discovery, whether a sudden landslide, a new cavern, or a distant meteor, reminds us of how little we know and how much is still hidden within our landscapes. The forests, fields, rivers, and towns of Tennessee perch atop a dynamic and, at times, unpredictable foundation. Each new tremor or flood brings the possibility of revelation, and each revelation brings with it the hint that the greatest wonders may still be buried. Chapter 7 The Hidden Future What Awaits Below With the excitement of discovery settling with the dust, life in Tennessee returns to normal, though perhaps with a keener sense of curiosity about what lies beneath. Local schools plan field trips to learn about geology and natural history, though the actual cave, for safety, remains off-limits to public access. Scientists and university teams prepare technical reports, measuring airflows, cataloging bones, and collecting samples, building a careful record for future study. Meanwhile, the impact ripples outward. Homeowners throughout the state re-examine old legends about sinkholes and caves. Insurance agents discuss new risk assessments. Children invent stories of hidden treasure and lost tunnels. Ranchers eye low spots in their fields with uncertain wariness, remembering that in Tennessee, history is sometimes as close as the ground below their boots. Yet, in this tension lies a uniquely human opportunity. Each shift of the earth, each new cave discovered, is an invitation to wonder and to investigate, not merely to fear. The state's position along the New Madrid Fault and atop cast topography means that discovery is a constant companion, but it is also a reminder that stewardship of the land matters, and that the lessons of geology and history are vital. Every new cave, each lost river, every fossilized bone is a piece of a living puzzle, one that can never be entirely solved, but that grows richer with each new find. How much do we truly know about the depths beneath our feet? Are there more hidden worlds, empty chambers, or rich ecosystems waiting to introduce themselves with the next quake or rainstorm? Though the news cameras have moved on, the story is far from over. The ground beneath Tennessee's towns and forests continues its slow, restless shifting. Another cavern may open tomorrow, another legend be proven true or false, another piece of the underground unveiled or lost. So, as darkness falls over the ridges and valleys, remember, the truest frontier may be below us, as much as beyond us. Which shadowed cave or clever fault will volunteer its secret next? And when the earth moves again, as it inevitably will, will we be ready to look deeper, to listen, and to marvel at the evolving story of Tennessee and its ever-unfolding underground mystery? Let us know what mysteries you imagine beneath your own feet, and until more is revealed, keep watching both the ground and the sky for the next chapter in nature's hidden tale.